So why do you think it is that pharmaceutical companies, uh, and you're one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, generally the public says maybe they are making too much money and maybe your image is not as good as you, know, you would like it to be. Why do you think that's happened? And do you think there's anything the industry can do to improve its image with the public? I think this is a really fundamental question uh, for our industry because, I mean, you just need to look this year at how uh, mobilized we've been, what a difference we can make, and how much for healthcare resilience globally uh, our contribution uh, is required. And, and I, I, I'm really proud of my company, but our industry for the way we've tried to collaborate for that. But the fact remains that we're still turning up in movies as the industry that people have criticisms of. And fundamentally, you can understand why there is this, when people, not just in developing countries, but in the most powerful countries in the world are still fighting for access to healthcare for themselves or the people they love. And there is this tension, as you say, between the human right to access to healthcare and profits in big corporates, a perceived tension. And frankly, I think um, the industry hasn't always historically helped itself, either because of a small number of egregious acts uh, on pricing or not enough transparency about why we do what we, how we do what we do and why it matters. And I think that what we can do about that is to do a better job of fulfilling our purpose to protect health, find new solutions to fight new diseases responsibly. So partnering with governments to help address out-of-pocket challenges, to bring more transparency and stability to how people can engage uh, with uh, healthcare, to champion access across the world to be responsible always in our pricing, to bring uh, transparency to the way we work, but also do a better job of showing why it matters to everybody that we do that profitably. Because one in two of us gets cancer. One in three of us, maybe it's one in two too. It doesn't matter how successful all the people are that you interview, we, they, we don't have treatments for dementia and Alzheimer's, and we need to keep fighting and investing to be able to solve these problems uh, for the future.